Greetings, Redheads. Thank you for joining me in another episode of your favorite show, the one and only Reds View. Of course, I am your gracious host, Jay Red, and I have a special guest with me today. I'm doing an exclusive interview with a hip hop recording artist. He goes by the name of O Mugs. What's happening, bro? What's good? What's good? What's good, man? Thank you for having me, God. Absolutely, absolutely, man. So, uh, for those don't, who don't know about O Mugs, tell them who exactly you are, player. Um, man, just a an artist, man, a hip hop artist, man, been doing it for some time, and uh, just somebody who pure passionate about about his music. You know what I'm saying? I I, I like to consider myself someone who who really take pride in in what he's putting out. Understand? I don't just try to do nothing uh, just just for the likes or just for even though I do appreciate all the likes, you know what I'm saying? Because in this day and age, it's that time where we got to make sure the people are hitting that like button. But I like the, I like the, um, I like the views and the comments to be as much as the the likes, you know what I'm saying? But just a regular, regular guy, man, you know what I'm saying? Humble beginners from Hempstead, New York, born in Brooklyn, raised in Hempstead, you know what I'm saying? And um, I just, I just love doing this music, bro. I really, um, Ain't nothing too, too, too much more than that, man. Word, word. Yeah, man. So shout out to New York. Uh, shout out to mm -hmm. Hempstead, New York, man. I got a chance to check out a song of yours that I really, really dig, man. One thing about it is the track Fear No Man. Okay. Uh, and one thing I like about it is bars. Like you gave me like a Styles P lot mm -hmm. type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? And I think that uh, the traditional rap that we're used to hearing, that traditional authentic rap is missing. Yeah. In, in a lot of uh, today's mainstream music. So it's good to, it's refreshing to hear something traditional for everybody out there. You may need to dig in and tap in with independent artists so you can mm -hmm. get that good type of music. But yeah, man, tell me, tell me uh, how did you develop that style? Um, Just, just over the years, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my cousin El Fata, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, um, he don't really record as much as he used to, but my older cousin growing up, you know what I'm saying? I would always go out to Brooklyn and and I would listen to him and uh, his partner, Crazy Horse. You know what I'm saying? They had a group back in the day or whatever. And just listen to him and his style and his authenticity. You know what I'm saying? Like he 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 always said something. He always had something to say over Dick. So just me growing up, listening to him, um, listening to the Nas and the, and the Jays and the Bigs and you know Pox and all of those guys, uh, the Locks. You know what I'm saying? I know you, you reference um, SP. SP was um, uh, I was a fan of his as well. You know what I'm saying? Coming up, so just that old school gritty backpack gangster hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Is is what I came came up on, and naturally the environment I grew up in. You, we see certain things, we go through certain things. And um, I'm just like a combination of all of that, a product of my choices, my environments, my family, you understand the music, the culture, mm -hmm. movies. So all of those things um, balled up into one is me, you know what I'm saying? But I, I tend to tell stories from a personal perspective, you know what I'm saying? Not every single thing is going to be all from me, but it's either some of my experience, my brother, my cousins, my mother, somebody close to me, or it might have just been me being creative. You know what I'm saying? Um, just just taking into account everything that I've I've seen in this world, you know what I mean, thus far. So um that's really where everything came from. It came from, like I said, my my, my cousin and just and just life, you know what I'm saying, and and growth and growth, yeah. I, I, I must say. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, Lil Birdie told me that you have a project dropping in March. Uh, yes. uh, so what is that? We got an album, mixtape, EP, what we got? Album, man, album. The Renaissance Project, man. Um, uh, Me and TRM, that's the producer. Uh, the Renaissance Shout out to TRM. Man. Shout yeah, out to my yeah, boy. That's, yeah. God, you know what I'm saying? Him and um, a friend of mine I grew up with at Hempstead, Tino, you know what I'm saying? He actually plugged me to TRM and um, we... I did a podcast uh, for, I was on their podcast, a few, I don't know, a few years back. Okay, I did a core room, there it goes. Shout out, shout out to the core room podcast. Word, word, that's what up, that's what up. And so anyway, yeah, me and Trim Link, and we've been working together ever since, you know what I'm saying? Me and Trim, the new guru, I, I said it in one of my tracks, 
one of those joints. So it's, a, it's the album, everything produced by TRM. And um, it's, 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 it's an amazing project, man. This is my 10th joint. And um, I think it's probably one of my favorites. Absolutely. And, and I like to hear that you are working with one producer because that's how it was traditionally back in the days. Before Nas, the guy yeah. that he shaked it up, it was the traditional one rapper, one producer, mm -hmm. and you will work with him. That's how we got some of the best records. That's how we got some of the best Snoop Dogg records when he was with Dr. Dre, mm -hmm. NWA, Eric B and Rakim, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. So it, it's good to hear that you're doing that. Now, let me ask you this. Um, what separates you from everybody else that you feel like, man, that is dope. Styles P is Styles P. Mm -hmm. And uh, this person is this person, but old mugs is this. What do you think the biggest thing that sets you apart from somebody? I feel like sometimes artists get stuck in artist mode. Like they become this one character, right? We all have these different personalities. I, I was originally OD before OD. I was old dog. Then we cut it short as OD. Then I became mugs and old mugs. But for me, you would have to obviously listen to things going back to when I started. But for me personally, it's growth, right? So throughout my journey in life, you understand, like, there's been growth in the music. I don't feel like I get that from all of the, the artists, so to speak. A lot of artists, they just, if they that person, they stuck in that person, and that's all they do, and that's all people tend to expect but i like to hear a little growth you know what i'm saying and there's nothing wrong with um styles p being styles p or whoever being whoever you know what i'm saying just i like to hear growth in the artist because even like i said i was a big styles fan but there's certain like now at this point where i'm at i don't always want to hear styles you know yeah. what i'm saying there's there's times i gotta i was like it's pockets i want to hear them when I want to get in a certain kind of mood, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, not to say he didn't grow because he definitely grown too, you know what I'm saying? And, and his artistry and, and his uh, farm life and all of that stuff he got going on as well. But you know what I'm saying? If you're talking about me, which you are, um, it's the growth. I think that's what separates me. You can hear the growth in all of my music if, you know what I'm saying, you've been following me from, from the jump. Right. And since you said that this is your 10th joint, Mm -hmm. Man, uh, so you've been in it for a minute putting out projects. Let me ask you this, man, especially in today's world uh, with how music is distributed now. You know, um, I know when I first started rapping, uh, you didn't have streaming. You know, right. um, I think you you had iTunes, but still mm -hmm. it was more money back then. You could sell your CD and all this. Yeah. Other stuff. So what makes you keep going in this climate right now since this is your 10th project? Keep it a buck. I <sighs> I don't know how to turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Just to be honest, like I love it. And and um, I, I got a regular a job that I got to go to take care of my family, my wife, my daughter, so on and so forth. But like, I can't turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Nor do I want to. God gave me these lines. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep, I'm going to just keep putting it out as long as I can. And um, that's just my 10th project by myself like i got other joint projects mm -hmm. with my god brother bullet i got a joint project with my man john doe in florida you know what i'm saying and i've done some other things but this is my 10th solo joint so um yeah in this climate it's it's like i'm still adjusting to it trying to figure it out figure out the best way to to get my stuff heard but i do appreciate this change i can't totally hate it because now like you said um people have to search for those independent artists if they want that type of sound. But now I feel like we don't have to just listen to what's on the radio because if I don't want to hit, if I want to go hear uh, a Griselda, I can just go to a Griselda kind of station. Or if I want to hear Common, I could just go to a Common type of station and I'll get that, that slew of um, artists like that. So I feel like for someone like me, I got a, a greater opportunity now to reach more people because people might just be looking for my type of sound. So I'd love to hit everybody. You know what I'm saying? I do believe I put out music and, and art that is for everyone. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for a specific type of sound, you could just, you could find me as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I love to hear that, man, staying authentic to who you are and the advantage that you have now versus back then. Mm -hmm. uh, it's cheaper to make the music 
and put yeah. it out there versus back in the days when we had to press up copies, vinyl, all that. Right. Other stuff. So it's, it's it has I think it has it's a gift and a curse because yeah. you get oversaturated and stuff. But all in all, uh, I like the way that you said that you can't turn it off because I feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, tell us, let's talk about the project a little more, man. You said it's called the Renaissance, right? Is the it Renaissance, Renaissance Man or the Renaissance? The Renaissance Project, TRM stands for the Renaissance Man. He the producer, so got you, got you. That's okay. why I just, you know, what I mean, it's kind of old to him. You understand, like he produced it, so this is the Renaissance Project. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's 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 artsy. It's you think about um, the Renaissance when it happened. That was bringing life and and culture into Europe. The Moors came through and taught them mathematics, gave them the culture, the art, and those different things. You understand? So. This project is like, I feel like it's a this is it's a ball of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you like with paint my picture. You know what I'm saying? That's a it's an artsy kind of joint telling you to be yourself, enjoy yourself. Um, this is how uh, how I, how I, what, what's the intro again? Um, make it feel. It's called make it feel. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because it's something you feel. Like that's that's a joint. The intro to me um, is probably one of my favorites just because. Um, there's so many jewels in it, you mm. understand? So I, I I tell my daughter this all the time, like, God forbid anything happen, even though I don't I plan on living for multiple um, eons, you know what I'm saying? Like, she could go back to that track and there's going to be so much in there for her to help her navigate through life. Not just her, anybody who listens, but obviously that's my seed. So I want to, you know what I'm saying, leave something behind that she can continue to develop herself off of. And um, so it's it's a total of, um, I want to say it's, a, it's 11 joints on there. Mm -hmm. I got joints that make you think. I got, I got um, arts, artistic joints like the paint my picture. I got, uh, I got the hood renaissance, which is which is crazy because it, it, that's just like that's that that's that mugs feel for real. Like back if you like I said my older stuff, I was a little more aggressive based on the the things I was experiencing in my life at the time. But I I kind of I tapped into that for um, hood renaissance. Um, Soul Glow is another beautiful joint, you know what I'm saying? That sounds interesting right there. Yeah, man. It's 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 some joints on them. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm I'm excited about it, I'm happy about it, and I think um the listeners are gonna love it if you're looking for if you're looking for something fresh, something new, something that gives you life like the Renaissance ever did, you know what I'm saying? Like it actually did, it brought life, you know what I'm saying, and I feel that this project whatever you may be going through is going to bring some life to it. You know what I mean? It may make you tap in and say, Oh, let me go at something like this. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's a breath of fresh, uh, fresh air. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. If you could give someone who's aspiring to be an artist, um, hip hop, you know, mm -hmm. or it could be R and B or whatever, and they're trying yeah. to get their start. What's the first advice that you would give them? Find out who you are mm. you know what i'm saying find out who you want to be because everybody sometimes people want to be somebody else man we see that more too often especially with social media everybody Absolutely. posts the, the pictures of the great oh this is this and this like nobody go through shit so find out who you want to be you know what i'm saying tap into that and and put that out and be so you know what i mean i'm comfortable going to sleep with at, at night, every night doing what I do, like you know what I'm saying. I don't have no, I don't have no hidden agenda. You know what I mean. So for any new artists, I, I, I suggest you just find out who you want to be, who you want the people um, to believe you are. Right. You know what I'm saying, and then, and then go with that. If it's a whole new person because you disliked how you were, mm -hmm. that's that's what you want to do. If it's who you are and you want them to know you, that's who it is. Whatever it is, just hone in on that and um, and stay true to it. Absolutely. That's pretty much what I say to people, too. You got to find your inner self, who you are, what you want to represent and things like that. But uh, yeah, man, back to the project, man. I'm excited to actually hear it uh, because, like I said, um, did TRM, did he produce that Fear No Man track? Yeah, every, okay. everything TRM, man, he, he, yeah. he came through, you know, he came through. I, I respect I respect the man as a, as a producer. Like mm -hmm. I said, I, I didn't know him. I, I met him through Tino. Um, but I, I've met a bunch of producers in my time doing it. And when he said he wanted to work with me, um, he like hit me on the, on the DM joint after I did the podcast 
And then I was like, you know, I've, I've seen that before. And then it comes with the, well, I'm selling these here. And, and, and like, yo, keep it a buck. Like, I understand we all got to get bread. But if I if I ain't got nothing, you ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing. So let's try to work together. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I was like, yo, go check my stuff out first. And if you still with it, let's work. And mm-hmm. then when he came back and he was like genuinely telling me what joints he liked, this, I was like, all right, son, listen. It. And then he's like, yo, I want to send you some. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. He sent me four tracks. I was like, yeah, he, I could tell that he was listening to my style. And he sent me, like, yo, he, you, if, yo, when you talk to him, ask him. He sent me four joints. I, I wrote them joints like that weekend. Like, I was like, yeah, he listened. We, we, we gonna make something. We gonna make something great together. So yeah, he, he produced that fit, though, man. Absolutely, man. Um, well, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to hear it because, like I said, it was a breath of fresh air to actually hear you. Um, you know, that type of production because that's the type of rap I grew up on. And mm. the most important thing I want y'all to get out there is that. That real hip hop that you're talking about, it mm. is still being made. You right. might have to dig. You might yeah. have to uh, ask a friend. But the most important thing is, once you hear it, share it. Tell yeah. a friend to tell a friend, tell a friend, because you see this man right here still going on, tenth mm. project, solo project, and he can't get rid of it. He can't stop. It's, it's something in him as an artist. But anyway, man, let us know the official date. Is it is an official date for for March yet? Right now. It's gone. It's we looking at March twenty third. Okay, you know what I'm saying. That's that's the date that we got in mind. That's part of me. That's the um Earth Strong. My my pops. God bless. No longer here. You know what I'm saying. So that's what we shooting for. Um, I don't see why I wouldn't drop. Everything is already sewn up, mixed, mastered. It's just it's already it's already packaged. Um, cover or everything already done. So. Now it's just about getting out there, letting people know. Like I said, appreciate you getting me on here, even giving me opportunity to share my 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 visions with with, with all of your fans. You know what I'm saying? So now it's just about getting the push. You know what I'm saying? Keep pumping the, the video, the, the fair no man video was doing good. I like it to to keep going. Paint my picture video out there, great great um visuals. So um you know I want to put out a a few more videos for the project. Um, but yeah, March, March 23rd, we looking like it's green light. So y'all hear it, man. Um, and I'm the one that got him on here. I'm the first interview. Oh, yeah. so he got, he got, he probably had plenty more, but he, you saw him here first on Red's view for all my people. So right. make sure that you look out for the Renaissance, man. Oh, mugs. Thank you so much for coming, uh, to, to Red's view, man, and sharing your gift with us. Now, how can everybody follow you and where are your projects at? Um, you can follow me at O H M U G Z. That's at O H M U G Z on everything on uh, Facebook, uh, SoundCloud, Twitter, IG, all of that. You know what I mean? All it's the same thing. everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a link in my IG um, bio for pretty much all my projects. If I'm not mistaken, I got to double check, but I'm pretty sure. Almost all of the projects are up there. If not, there are a few. Maybe the old, the older ones may not be up there, but uh, the the last, uh, you know, maybe the last four or five things is up there that I that I put out. But um, I work on getting some more of that 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 vintage <laughs> old D, aka mugs, up there as well. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to it, man. Once again, old mugs, y'all heard him here first, man. Check his stuff out when it drops. And um, y'all be seeing more of this nice MC pretty soon, man. You already know where to follow me at J-A-Y-R-3-D on all social media platforms. And make sure that you subscribe. Oh, Mugs fans, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe to YouTube.com slash Reds View. We can get all the freshest hip-hop content, interviews, album reviews, all that good stuff, man. But anyway, y'all, yeah. thank you again, Oh Mugs, for coming on the show. Right. This is uh, J-Red, Oh Mugs, Reds View. We're signing out. Peace.